Bitcoin and Solana emergency update. Bitcoin has now officially gone below 40,000. What does that mean from a buying and selling perspective? Human psychology, what should we anticipate? And is the same or similar pattern being reflected in Solana, one of the top cryptocurrencies? So we're going to dive in and look at it from an Elliott Wave and Fibonacci standpoint. Objective, non-emotional. Is this the biggest opportunity or do we need to be taking a different kind of action? If you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Chiggy. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I only used to trade currencies, but now I'm exclusive on cryptocurrency. So let's dive straight in. So believe it or not, Bitcoin is actually playing out pretty much as we anticipated. We did a video at this top over here. We anticipated this top in advance. You can go check it out in the videos. And then there was a video on the beginning of Jan, Jan 7th, where we said, look, we've got this, what we anticipated. And it's likely we're going to see another leg to the downside below 40,000. And there's two particular scenarios that are going to play out. And that's what we need to be aware of. With Solana, like with Solana, I did a video down here with Solana. We pegged it. We pegged it using Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, just textbook stuff. And it hit this, hit this wave, hit this wave as anticipated. It was just textbook stuff. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're anticipating this correction. And this correction is playing out textbook fashion. Check out the videos in the past. You'll see that what we said in advance is that markets moves in fives and threes. One, two, three, four, Five, that's called an impulsive sequence. Wave one's impulsive, wave three's impulsive, and then wave five is impulsive. Wave five is often equal to wave one. Uh, wave four and wave five have a particular relationship, and we want to know those relationships, the psychological buying and selling behavior that occurs. And then there's typically a three-wave correction. And then after a three-wave correction, the market continues to all-time new highs. It's just the way all markets move. We're talking about stocks. We're talking about bonds. We're talking about gold. We're talking about silver. We're talking about oil. We're talking about Bitcoin, we're talking about Ethereum, we're talking about cryptocurrency as a whole. We want to understand this because it becomes really emotional because of fear, uncertainty and doubt. Because normally, typically, most traders, most investors, especially retail, which is you, are two steps behind the market. And we want to see if we can get two steps ahead of the market so we can anticipate these moves and really make the best high probability decisions because we can only do probabilities but never certainties. And if you want to learn more about Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, take my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci masterclass. It couldn't be a better time because now's the time to really be reading the markets like a pro. So what we're going to do now is jump into our live chart and keep it quite punchy today. So this is Bitcoin. I'm just going to zoom in like this. All right, so we, we've been pegging this pretty accurately from, you know, since my first videos on, on YouTube. On YouTube, my first video was up here and we pegged this. And it, it seemed like an aggressive move to the downside. It doesn't look like a finish of a correction. It looks more like a wave A and then an ABC of a B. And then we're anticipating this correction. How? How can we do such a thing? How can we anticipate such a correction? Well, we saw it in the chart, right? Markets moves in. You know, we said this. We said it in advance. Uh, one, two. This is from 2017, by the way. This is macro thinking, macro big psychology as the market is expanding. Bitcoin is expanding. It's now... And it's been over a trillion dollar market, a, cor a correction of a wave two, then a one, two, three, four, five of a wave three. And then look at this, an A, B, C of a wave four in the range of the previous wave four. This is textbook Elliott wave stuff, Fibonacci ratios and everything else. So we are anticipating the correction to finish here. So with Bitcoin, we've got two scenarios. Right, two scenarios we want to be aware of. I'm not saying this is a comfortable time. Everything's going to go down because the market panics, but the market needs this to take off. It's, it's, it's a weird psychological thing that occurs time and time and time and time again, but we drew these two targets in advance, in advance. You know, if you look back at the videos, we weren't kind of, we're not reacting to the market. We're going, look, it's never guaranteed that it's going to happen, but there was a very high probability that this was going to happen and it's happening. So now what we're looking at is a wave four, you know, and then a wave A, a wave B, it looks like an A, B, C. That's the cleanest wave count. It spiked above the previous wave three, which is unusual, right? And that's called irregular, right? There's, there's two scenarios. When it spikes and then continues on the correction to the downside, there's two scenarios. And we want to be aware of those. One scenario is something called a running ABC flat, right? A running ABC. So running ABC, a running ABC. Because typical ABCs are more like this. It doesn't exceed the top. It finishes here and then just does a, it's what's called an ABC zigzag, right? That's the most common. It's the most highly probable. It's really, really easy to read. When they're more irregular, 
when there's the top is spiked, there's two scenarios. One scenario is a running. That's what this is, where the previous A, wave A, does not get exceeded and the correction finishes here as a bullish sign and then we'll see a reversal, but we need to see follow through. We need to see follow through so we don't want to try catch a falling knife. And then the other one is it's called a irregular ABC, which is basically where the wave B spikes above the previous wave five high, which is the wave three, and also goes below this current wave A low. So we'll be finishing down here. Right, we've got two scenarios and they're not that far apart and we, and we don't want to panic too much. But what we want to now look at with uh, Ethereum before we jump into Solana, because Solana is different, but it, it kind of gives us a, a, a framework to work with. Is we don't need to get too anal with these wave counts, but this is more of an intermediate count now. Uh, let's just change it to intermediate because we want to do another micro count as I'm looking at this. What do we see here? What do we see in this here? Right? If you're familiar with my teachings with Elliott Wave, I've been doing this for over a decade now, this here, well, to me, if we just zoom in, you know, we just want to be non-emotional, objective as we can be when we're looking at this. On a micro wave count, what I'm seeing is what looks like a wave one, two, a wave three, and then a wave four, and what looks like to be forming a wave five into this region, which might end up being a wave five of a five. This is a micro wave count. Again, we, we want to just have objectivity, a wave 5 of a 5 of a C of a potential wave 4, right? That's what we're looking at. So now I'm just going to do another Fibonacci ratio very, very quick. We want to do, I'm going to take it from here. There's a particular ratio that we want to be aware of. End of wave, wave 5, 62%. You can see it's right in that range and then 100% which is down here in the bottom over here. Right? They're the most typical, right? So this tells us this is highly probable that we may find that we get an end around here, around here. So we don't want to be catching a falling knife. We want to see some follow through. What do we mean by follow through? Well, on the momentum reversal, when it goes bullish, because the blue line will eventually cross over the red from, from a momentum perspective, we want the price to go over a swing high, right? This is a, an obvious swing high, but even a more obvious one is this over here, right? And what we want to see with Bitcoin to give us confidence that we're likely to see a reversal where the big boys are going to get involved, institutions, hedge funds, massive, you know, El Salvador's got it as legal tender. So there's enough to say all we need is a nice movement to the upside. This is called an overbalance of price. We haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen that yet. So we don't want to jump the gun. We're looking for a price movement bigger than any other price movement to the upside of any of these parts here. This is crucial. Right, what's the biggest move to the upside? It's probably this wave four here, right? So if you measure that, just in terms of a blue arrow, just if we just measure that here, we can get candles because it's probably going to be like a it's more like ranging. So we can kind of go around there and then go back to a closing day line. It's just cleaner. Oh, my arrow disappeared. Okay, let's just go from here. We want to see a movement bigger than this, and then that's what we refer to as an overbalance of price. The bulls are back in town, and the buying behavior is coinciding and then if we do get a movement to the upside we can wait for the first pullback which will be typical uh, you know like a wave two on a micro and then a continuation so with bitcoin you know it's, it's, it's going to impact the whole market it's bitcoin's king bitcoin's the big brother bitcoin if you know whatever it does everyone else does it more extremely if you're in low caps you know i'm a big fan of low caps you know when bitcoin is very bullish low caps are doing 5x's 10x's 20x's 100x's but when bitcoin is bearish like right right now they gail go down 30%, 50%, some 70, 80, 90, 95%. And that's this part here. But you can see here from a macro perspective, we're going to do one last thing, then we're going to jump into Solana, is this wave two from 20, end of 2017, 2018, is what you call, it's, it's complex. It's complex. It's not a simple ABC, but there's a principle of alternation. And when wave two is complex, wave four tends to be a bit more simple. And I'm just measuring this time, right? And I did this before. We should find that wave four is less than, less than the time of wave two when wave two is complex. So now the maximum time we should finish before April, before April, way before April. Um, but again, we just want to be mindful now because we projected this. If we go back in time and watch my videos, we, we pegged this top up here. People thought it was a nutcase when Bitcoin was doing 64,000. 
I was one of the very few people that was saying, look, this is a fifth wave diagonal. We're likely going to get a correction. Now, I was anticipating this to be the ABC, but it turned out to be the A because it was very impulsive to the downside. And then we got a nice clean ABC and now impulsive to the downside. And we pegged this top. Again, people thought I was crazy because Bitcoin was hitting all time new highs, like $67,000, give or take. And then, boom, down here. So now we can prepare for this. So let's just finish on what do we anticipate? Well, we're not, we haven't got the fifth leg yet. We haven't got the fifth leg yet. I also read an article recently with Pantera Capital, which is one of the biggest VC firms in the crypto space, one of the first from 2013. They're very bullish. They said, this time it is different because we've got innovation. We've got things that are actually useful. It's just not hype no more. And, you know, we've got some, you know, serious protocols in play. So we're still looking for our six-figure Bitcoin and we're anticipating this over the coming weeks and months. Months, more so months. So we've got to be patient um, and hang in there. Let's just jump into Solana very quickly. Now, Solana, we pegged, right? We pegged so well, right? If you watch back my videos, it is a masterclass in Elliott Wave and Fibonacci textbook, Solana textbook, right? And people thought, how, how are you doing this, Jagir? We did a video here and we said, it's likely to do a wave two. And then we pegged this and it was around here. And we said, okay, the wave two looks like it's reversed. You can go back and check out the videos. Um, it is so, so neat. It is perfect. It's a perfect example. And I did a video recently on how we did that, how we did that. And then we got this classic wave three. We were anticipating a wave four in advance and we got it. We got it here. I was anticipating it to be a bit longer. Uh, come on, let's go, let's go. Uh, I was anticipating it to be a bit longer, but when this high got taken out, this high over here, uh, that confirmed it. And then we pegged, you can see the pink box. We did this in advance, pegged the high probability wave five high. And guess what? Bang, it did this reversal. And then we did a last video. We said, look, Solana is due for a bigger degree correction. People again thought I was crazy. Actually, kid, you know what Solana is doing? You know, it's, you know, how fast it is. I go, look, so everything's lovely. Yeah, but human psychology is human psychology and buying and selling behavior is buying and selling behavior. So it's almost like get over yourself and go, look, we're likely to see a 50, 38.2 to 50% um, correction. And in fact, let's just now do this clean because we've got the data. Let's just quickly do a, a remodel here. Just going to quickly make sure I got the highs and the lows. Yep. So this is the typical minimum time. 38 to 50% is normally the 50%. So, we, you know, Solana should still probably go sideways to down until maybe February, March, February, March. So then that's what we're anticipating. But let's just do a quick update and then we'll wrap up on this because I just wanted to do an emergency update on Bitcoin because I know most people are going to be panicking. Your portfolio is probably crying, screaming, and we're going to see a lot of red. And if you just started in crypto, this is, this is more like a, a welcome to crypto, you know, it's a volatile market. Uh, it moves, it moves, which can have massive pros, but also cons, right? So 50% to 100%. So we're in that price range now, but we're not in the time range. But you can also see what I'm seeing here. So I'm just having it as a, as a quick glance. It looks to me like, yeah, it's not overlapping. Well, it is overlapping a bit, actually. Let's have a look. Mm -mm. Yeah, to me, this looks like a nice wave A. Come on. Sometimes these don't click. Bang. All right, wave A, wave B, and we're forming what looks like a wave C. But again, we should anticipate, you know, we don't want to over, overshoot. But in, say, in saying that, in saying that, as I'm looking at this, we just want to be also aware, because it doesn't have to reach the time, because Solana is, is you know, if, if Bitcoin reverses, Solana might reverse before Bitcoin. But it just gives us further clarification that there's going to be many projects that are that are hitting this kind of kind of pattern and people are going to be panicking people think it's all over you know they knew the bear market was coming i go no nah, i don't think so <laughs> not yet not yet let's uh let's the market needs this behavior for the next leg to take off so what i'm going to just quickly do is i'm going to draw this like this abc and let's just do a quick update on solana we'll do some advanced uh, advanced metrics now but let's just get rid of this because this is now just noise the wave five high has been confirmed. What I'm looking at as well, just so we're on the same page, is macro degree now. We're, we're, we're doing macro psychology. You know, Arthur C. Clarke said it beautifully. Any advanced science or technology is an indistinguishable from magic. And this is magic because it just plays out. Mass herd psychology just plays out time and time again. So what we're looking at this is a wave one, a wave one, two, three, four, five of a wave one. And we're looking for the end of a wave two, a end of a wave two. Again, we just want to be mindful of a couple of things. 
We want a reversal. We want to see a reversal before we take action because you don't want to catch, try to catch a falling knife. So now let's just finish up on this. I got a workshop starting in in 15 minutes. It's 6.40 a.m. UK time. We're running a morning workshop because we've got a lot of subscribers. You guys in Australia, New Zealand, the other, you know, the down under. So we are catering. So I want to get this done. Make sure you get this emergency update. We're going to measure wave A. We're going to project it from wave B. 100% is the most common and most typical. We've also got on a micro degree count, this is high level stuff, guys. If you want to learn how to do this, take my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci masterclass. It is seriously phenomenal. I've done a, put in a lot of work. It wasn't easy to simplify this. Looks like a wave one, two. Look at this textbook stuff, man. Solana, ABC, four, and it looks like a wave five forming. So we might get a wave five of a wave C of a wave two, right? And then what we can do just to finish up is let's do an end of wave five projection. You go, Jigia, what? You think it's going to reverse with Bitcoin doing what it's doing? I go, markets need this. It's, the cra it's crazy what the markets need to reverse, but it needs this. It needs this fear, this uncertainty, this doubt. So now we've got this cluster, and then we're going to do one last thing with time. Because normally wave C is very similar to wave A. And there's a relationship. We're going to measure wave A. And we're going to project it forward from wave B. And we've got this red line. It's the most common. So that gives us a bit of a ballpark date. It says the beginning of Feb and we're coming towards the end of Jan. So nine, ten days. You know, we got this broad time. There's a few other things we can do. Um, but let's just keep it conservative for now. Let's just draw this range here. Around this region. And what we're looking for is an overbalance of price. We're looking for a movement to the upside greater than any other previous movement to the upside. So the greatest move to the upside looks like this wave B over here. So let's just even be conservative and take the whole ABC over B. We want to see a movement bigger than this. We want to see a movement very bullish, right? We want to see it. We want to see the buyers. Buyers kind of go bomb. And then on the first pullback is one of the safest times to buy. Overbalance of price, not guaranteed. Probabilities, never certainties. Bang, There's, there we go. And then for Solana, this is, I will finish on this. If I just get rid of these blue arrows. If this is, ends up being a wave one and a wave two. What comes after that is a wave three. The next bullish impulsive wave, which will line up with our macro thesis on Bitcoin, is a wave three projection for Solana. You go, you really think that's going to take off? I go, Solana's a big deal, guys. You know, you know I'm a big fan of Valas, and Valas is a fork of Solana. Uh, you know, the only real thing is that Valas might have the edge is that is EVM compatible. And we know Ethereum virtual machine is very, very popular. But the two price targets for Solana as the market expands, believe it or not, Solana is a, it's a big boy project, right? It's, it's, no, it's no joke. Uh, is, again, we want to wait for the reversal though. No hype over here. Just probabilities, never certainties. We're talking about $525 to $785. That's the case for Solana. Objective, mechanical, Elliott Wave and Fibonacci. If you haven't taken my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci masterclass, now is the time because you want to be sharpening your axe as the market is panicking. It's a zero-sum game. Many people are going to lose money. When the market corrects like it is doing right now, this is the taste for what's going to come at the end of the end of the bull run and then a big correction. And you want to be really projecting in advance the top because you can then take profits, look after your financial health and enjoy this banquet of life because life has many, many gifts and we want to be able to leverage those gifts and help the people that we want to help. But you have to take action. You have to learn. You have to kind of up your game. So here we go. Confucius. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. That's the quote of the day. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Take my free Elliott Wave Fibonacci Masterclass. It's a powerhouse masterclass, I'm telling you. And it allows us to do this. If you watch back just on the Solana video, I think the first one was in June. I think it was June. We pegged that bottom. And then there was an update. And it just... It's following textbook Elliott Wave. Now that we're hitting that textbook Wave 2 zone, that coincides with our thesis of the Wave 4 low of a Bitcoin. And there's a few other things as well as indicating we've still got this one last leg of this massive bull run. But you need to get your confidence because your emotions are going to take over. If your emotions take over, you've already lost. And that's what we want to be mindful of. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you very soon.